Good morning, guys. Um, welcome back to the vlog. Everybody is still asleep. We stayed up super, super late last night. Um, we went out and we watched the movie Doctor Strange. Um, it's a pretty good movie. Um, I definitely still like Spider-Man a little bit better, but it was a lot of fun. So um, this morning I weighed in at 157.2. So if you've been following the last two weeks, you know that I went up in weight and I know why I went back up in weight. So I will explain that a little bit later um, in the video, but I will go ahead and I'll show you guys what my physique look looks, looks like right now. And, um, Okay, so my posing, um, a little bit better than the last two times that I did posing, um, for you guys. But, again, um, you know, I would like to say that I'm disappointed because the scale went back up, but I'm not, um, you know, I still have the next 18 or so weeks to continue cutting. But, like I said, I will explain to you guys why that happened. Um, it's completely my fault, my own fault. Um, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later in the video. So... Let's go get some breakfast and then I'll take you guys through a home workout um, because I'm going to do my home workout today. It's upper body day. But I hope you guys are having a beautiful Sunday and I'll see you guys later. Hi guys. Um, welcome back to the same vlog. I don't know why I'm so awkward on camera, but I'm actually heading to, I know I said I was going to take you guys through an at-home workout, but I'm actually heading to a... Um, like workshop or seminar here in San Antonio. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to make it, but um, I had reached out to them, um, who the person who organized the clinic, and I'm super, super stoked to go and get in some more posing practice. Um, I believe they have all categories there, I'm not sure, but it is for anybody, anybody can go to it. Um, you know, beginners, people who have, you know, who have their pro card. Um, it's just a workshop for you to go and better yourself and, you know, network and get to know people. Um, and they have a gym that you are able to stay afterwards and work out in. So that's where I'm going to do my workout today. Um, so hopefully I can record a little bit of content for you guys. And yeah, I'm super excited. I'll get my snack because I'm so hungry after my breakfast. But look at it. I'm not flipping you off, but look. It's almost gone. I've had it all week. But hopefully it'll be gone soon. Okay, let's go. Alright guys, so I just finished up at the seminar that they had at Dance Plus. Sorry, my hair is a little crazy. Um, I met a whole bunch of wonderful people. I actually met one of the girls that used to be on um, one of my coaches teams when I first wanted to do wellness and she was super, super sweet. Such a fun experience. Um, you know, our coaches that came today to do the um, posing training with us, they were so nice and um, knowledgeable. Um, and it was just, it was such a great overall experience. So I'm so happy that I came. Now I'm gonna go um, to HB because I have to pick up my meals. I have to do meal prep today. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a beautiful day.
Okay, guys, so let's get into um, kind of what I was talking about earlier. Um, so I weighed in this morning at 157.2, and as you guys know, I am heavier um, than I was at my last check-in, so than last Sunday. Last Sunday, I believe I came in at 155.8. So it is, like I said, I know why I came in weighing more, and it's okay. Well, it's not okay, but it's okay. Um, so basically, um, a very, very small, small, like smidget small percentage is probably muscle gain, right? But again, very, very small percent. Why I gained, you know, some weight back was because Saturday we had my son's um, birthday party. And because I had been so on track with everything, you know, my macros, my workouts, my cardio, um, I didn't stray from my plan at all, um, followed my rest days, you know, followed everything to a T. I told myself that for my son's birthday, you know, I was going to indulge and um, you guys already know, I already kind of, you know, I told people, you know, on my Instagram um, stories about, you know, how I tend to binge eat or, you know, when I'm an emotional eater, or like if I'm overwhelmed, I, I dive into food, right? So prep is hard for me in that context when it comes to the food, uh, food control portion. Um, so for my son's birthday, um, I was like super, super excited. We had a like fun filled day planned and um, you know, first it started with, you know, let's have a couple bites of cake. And then like, you know, of course we would go, we went out and, um, you know, you're already kind of on low carb, low calorie, you know, caloric deficit as far as your diet goes for your meal plan. And, um, excuse me, I love carb loading. Like I love pasta. I love bread. I love just all of that stuff. I could literally eat it all day long. Um, but yeah, so basically that's what happened was me telling myself that it was okay to indulge in, you know, a couple pieces of cake, um, well not a couple pieces, but a couple bites of cake. And then that turned into, okay, well everybody's, you know, enjoying a nice beverage. So, um, so I actually had, I think like two beers or two and a half beers. Um, I got, I made sure that they were low calorie or whatever, but, um, still, you know, I know when you're on prep, you're supposed to stick to everything. And um, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, and talking about it, is because I think it's really important because first-time competitors, um, you know, if you're not situationally aware of how you are during prep, which most people aren't going into their first show, um, it could be kind of dangerous to your health or you can form dangerous habits. So for an example, like my first two shows, right, that um, I had done previously during prep, if I did not stick to my diet, which I definitely did at my first two shows you know if I wanted to eat pizza I ate pizza or if I wanted to get that drink from Starbucks I got that drink from Starbucks but in turn what I would end up doing is I would tell myself you know okay well I had that drink from Starbucks it was 400 something calories so okay cool like I'll just do another 30 minutes or 45 minutes of cardio the next day to make up for it or oh it's okay like I'll just take this out of my meal plan for the next day to make up for it so it can become very dangerous very quickly so it is very important to become aware of those habits and to wean away from it and so that is what's different and what was different for my last prep um, my for my third show was I didn't I didn't do that um, and then same thing with this prep is even though I know it was wrong you know for me to stray away from my plan and stuff you know I still I was living in the moment I was enjoying you know time with my family and friends and enjoying time with my son um, but you know at the end of the day even though it's like wrong in the sense of you're straying away from your plan it's not necessarily wrong you know for your body so um you know going into this prep you know i'm more knowledgeable in that sense so i already know you know like okay yeah i messed up i strayed away from my plan you know this is what i i did intake that day but that doesn't mean the next day i'm going to start skipping meals it doesn't mean the next day i'm going to do an, an extensive like hour and a half of cardio to burn off you know whatever i had the day before no it just means that I'm human, I make mistakes, um, I'm just like everybody else. And so basically moving forward, it's okay, back to your plan. So get back to your, your clean eating, get back to doing your workouts, get back to doing your, the cardio you're supposed to be doing. Um, so it's learning not to punish yourself through your faults basically during your prep. Um, and again, it's something that will come, um, it'll be more knowledgeable and it'll be better for you um, once you start learning how your body reacts to certain things or um you know just getting to know yourself better throughout your your prep journey um especially if you've competed multiple times um but again like i said i just wanted to bring that up and bring that to people's attention because i don't think that it's talked about a lot um or a lot of people aren't open about it like i said i think when it comes to um competing a lot of people just show like the highlight reels of 
you know, oh, this was my before picture and this is what I, you know, this is my stage picture. And um, like I said, both forms are beautiful, but there's so much that goes into actually competing and doing a show that a lot of people don't see. And that's why, um, that's kind of why I started this series. You know, I do post little um, updates on my Instagram story. So if you guys aren't following that, I kind of tell you guys how I'm feeling every single day. You know, if I'm getting my meals down, you guys see me do my workouts. Well, you don't see me do my workouts, but you know, every morning I'm posting, hey, going to the gym, hey, sitting in the sauna, answering questions. It's kind of like an accountability thing for me. Um, but yeah, so nope, um, I'm human. I definitely indulged on Saturday. You know, I had a whole bunch of popcorn. We went and watched Doctor Strange Saturday night. And again, excuse me, I keep burping. I'm trying to get down my water. Um, but again, you know, I didn't wake up feeling guilty this morning, um, you know, and so that's, that's very, very important. Um, especially, you know, moving forward. So that means that I have grown so much from like my very first show to where I'm at now, you know, so to speak. So for that, I'm proud for that. I'm proud of recognizing my faults, um, you know, recognizing what I'll do to go forward. You just scare the shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, I'm doing my, my video for my YouTube. <laughs> but yes, um, so for that, I'm proud for recognizing my faults and um, just trying to be better every single day moving forward. And that's really all you can do is just be better than the day you were before. And that's not even with competing, that's kind of with every aspect of your life, really. Um, but okay, so I'm gonna get off my rants or my soapbox, but I just wanted to explain to you guys, you know, why I gained the weight. Was it okay that I gained the weight back? I mean, I still have uh, roughly about 18 weeks to, to show day. Um, so again, in hindsight, prep-wise, was it okay? No, but longevity life-wise, was it okay? Yes. Um, so another thing that I wanted to talk about really, really quick before I get off here was um, something that I got to do today. I didn't really record a lot of content. I'll kind of put like the little clip right here somewhere. Um, I went to a um, bodybuilding seminar uh, here in San Antonio and um, there are few and far between, but it's something that is, you know, getting bigger in the San Antonio community and lots of people are starting to host events like this. And so it was super, super awesome. Dance Plus, um, held a seminar today and what is so cool and like I said I believe that God aligns like everything for you um, or you get signs sent to you and how crazy was it that I went today like I'm still wearing my number right so I always said I'm going to do a show before I turn 33 like um, I wanted to do wellness when wellness came out you know I've been teetering back and forth with it for years do I want to do it do I not do I want to do it do I not and now that I finally you know picked a show day the show that I'm um, planning on doing is, you know, about seven days before my birthday, my 33rd birthday. And look at how cool is it that this was my badge today. So, um, I don't know. It's just it's little reminders like that that um, just kind of still motivate me and excite me and um, just kind of give me that push to be like, okay, so this is, this is what I want. This is a goal. Um, you know, so I'm really thinking about creating a vision board just having it in my room um, so that way you know I can wake up and I can see it every day I have sticky notes kind of here and there that remind me but it would be really awesome to just like put this up there as a reminder um, the coaches that they had there today at the seminar were so knowledgeable they're so beautiful they're so amazing um, it was so much fun all the women that came there are people that have done multiple shows before there are people who are you know six weeks out from a show there are people who have never competed in their life and it was just such a fun experience to get to network and get to know those people um, and you know that's really what I'm all about I love networking and getting to know people um, so it was such a fun experience thank you so much Dance Plus um, for hosting that and um, I'll go ahead and I'll kind of put their information down below as well um, in case you guys are ever interested in like checking out another event if they host another event there um, but yeah so I'm going to get off my um, soapbox and I hope you guys will have a beautiful day and I think that this is going to conclude the vlog I know there's a lot of random stuff in here but I hope you guys all have a beautiful Sunday and I'll keep you guys updated in the next vlog.